principles of inheritance and variation this discussion is about mendelian disorders now what does the term mendelian disorder means mendelian disorder means or mendelian disorder is is failure of any living beings to follow laws of inheritance which is proposed or stated by stated by gregor mendel mainly two types described these are number 1 incomplete dominance and co dominance each one will be discussed followed by another now coming to incomplete dominance what is incomplete dominance first we must know that <coughs> now incomplete dominance is inability of the dominant trait to suppress the recessive trait completely in the f1 generation leading to leading to mixing of the characters and development of a new character or trait now where it is seen it's this is seen in snapdragon or dog flower also called antirrhinum species so example snap dragon or antirrhinum species antirrhinum species common name snapdragon common name snap dragon also called dog flower is the example now coming to description how to show incomplete dominance or what actually happens in case of incomplete dominance suppose a crossing experiment is done using dominant homozygous dominant homozygous dominant red homozygous dominant red a crossing experiment is done using homozygous dominant red colored 
flower a red flowered plant that is written as capital R R and homozygous recessive white colored plant that is shown as small r now how to form the checkerboard and how to write capital r r into small r r which means mating crossing um something like that here it can be written p generation p generation then gametes each will produce two gametes two types r r and here smaller smaller <coughs> this can be written as gametes in f1 generation so the progenies will be capital r smaller capital r smaller capital r smaller here we can write f1 generation now after that again to write the gametes it is similar to monohybrid cross just the results are different it's capital r small r then again capital r small r so gametes of f2 generation again it can be written gametes then punnett square can be formed a checkerboard whatever you call it the way it's written in monohybrid cross same way so you'll write the gametes on top and in the middle part the progenies here you can write male gamete female gamete this is the best way to show here capital r smaller again capital r smaller so the progenies are capital r r capital r smaller capital r smaller again and last one small r r as we know that capital r small r is red flowered plant and cap sorry capital r r is red flowered plant and small r r is white colored plant now coming to capital r small r just because of incomplete dominance instead of producing red flowered plant this capital r small r produces means in in case of f1 generation so in case of f1 generation instead of producing instead of producing <coughs> just a moment instead of producing red heterozygous dominant 
flowering plant white sorry pink flowered plant is produced as offspring because of incomplete dominance in f2 generation also two pink colored plants are produced along with one red flowering plant and one white flowering plant so both phenotype and genotype ratio for f2 generation is 1 is to 2 is to 1 that is 1 capital R red plant is to 2 pink capital R small r is to 1 white so again another bracket you can write red is to 2 pink is to white flowering plants so this is due to incomplete dominance because of incomplete dominance in uh, f2 generation uh, f both f1 and f f2 generation instead of producing red flowering plant um, pink flowering plant is produced also this image help us to understand better red plant white uh, flowering plant produces all pink plants then in f2 generation also so both phenotype and genotype ratio is like this